I'd like to talk about the TM808 today. If you're looking for these size targets, jars, your typical jar hunting, uh, this size target, anything in this range, you don't need a TM808. You'd be better off with a traditional metal detector with the largest search coils that are available for those models. Uh, here we have the MXT All Pro with the 15 inch loop. On targets this size, good for about four feet, of course in an all metal mode. Uh, here we have the V3i set up with the hip mount with the 13. You want to run the biggest coils you can get for them and that's what you need for jar hunting. When do you need a TM-808? When you're looking for these size targets. The cannons, the big chest, rifles, shotguns. Here we've got a bear trap. This size targets where the 808 is going to meet, beat or exceed any of your traditional models with the large search coil. Needs a big target and that's where it really shines. When operating the TM-808, you're standing in the middle of the metal detector's electromagnetic field. So you need to strip all the metal off yourself that you possibly can. Uh, you don't want to wear big wrist watches. Uh, you know, take that off. Uh, you don't, you know, this is a no-no. You can't have your cell phone. Uh, you can't have, uh, that's a no-no. Here we got a car fob. Any of your big metal you want to take off. No big cowboy belt buckles, no big knives and guns. Uh, you basically want to be free of metal if you can at all. Uh, there is a problem if you have uh, surgical steel in your legs. Uh, you can't wear steel toed boots. Uh, if you have old school snake chaps that have metal in them, that's going to be a problem. Uh, so you want to strip all the metal off your person before you even start because it will cause a problem with your tuning and operation. The TM-808 has some fairly simple controls, very traditional manual metal detector controls. You've got an on-off threshold. You have a ground balance control. You've got a signal balance, which is a sensitivity or gain. You've got an auto or no auto and you have the push button on the grip. You're going to be using the push button on the grip a lot and in this detector you have to just reset quite often. Uh, at some times, in some situations, it becomes inconvenient and that's why you have the auto position. The auto position is the same as somebody hitting this but reset button for you at timed intervals or at like an SAT. And so it maintains the threshold or a neutral uh, condition so that when metal becomes into the field it can see that to, and respond to that with a beat. So we're going to turn the detector on by the threshold. We're going to hold the button in as we turn it on and we're going to adjust for a slight threshold sound. We just want to barely be able to hear a sound. At that point we're going to lock our elbow and we're going to lift up. What you want is no change in threshold as you lift up because what that tells you is that it doesn't know the difference between you taking ground away or showing it more ground. It doesn't see the ground and that's what you want. You want that threshold to stay the same as you come from elbow locked up. So we're holding the button, we adjusted the threshold, we release the button, we lift up. We got a pretty good change in sound there, so we're going to adjust our ground balance. We're going to hold the button in, adjust our ground balance, lock our elbow, release the button, and come up again. Now I think I went a little too far there. I'm going to come turn the gain or the single balance, I'm going to turn down a little bit because I'm not getting a good ground balance. I'm going to adjust the ground balance a little bit, lock my elbow. There's what we want. You can hear the threshold as you lift up. It really doesn't see a lot of difference between having less ground or more ground. And that means it's ignoring the ground. You're going to get deeper penetration when it ignores the ground and you're going to get less signals from just normal mineral type ground. So at this point we're ready to start walking. We could walk very briskly along as we search for targets. It's best to grid an area off going several different directions, 90 degrees from each other, and to pretty much mark your, your different targets and then stand back and look at which ones are the most uh, likely to be worth digging. When you're using the TM-808, you have to reset quite often. These big antennas, they're going to want to drift a bit. Uh, it's also going to want to beep at changes in the ground like from uh, clay to dirt or from sand to bedrock. It likes to beep on those edges and if you reset, it'll usually quit beeping on those edges or they'll only beep in one direction or the other. A real metal target's going to beep in all directions uh, every time. Uh, those changes in ground are what's going to uh, beep maybe in one direction and not another and you have to reset quite often. Sometimes when you're walking briskly along and you're gridding off an area, this manually resetting thing gets uh, a little inconvenient. That's when you'd want to go to auto 
In auto, it's resetting for you automatically. As long as you're walking briskly on your grid lines, it's gonna work great. It's gonna detect the target. But when you're in the auto position, you can't stop on your target. That's when you're running your grid, walking briskly, and you get your beeps and you're marking those beeps. Um, if you wanna stop on the target, auto's gonna tune that target out. If you wanna stop, you wanna go to the no auto position. Uh, I also prefer the no auto position uh, when I'm pinpointing. Uh, it's never gonna go away in the no auto position when you're on top of the target. And uh, that's a little more convenient when you're uh, isolated a spot and you're doing some pinpointing is go to the no auto position. But again, when you're walking a brisk grid, uh, the auto position is much more convenient. As long as you don't stop over your beep, it's gonna beep at every metal. So you'd normally walk in a straight line. You don't wanna bobble up and down. You could walk very briskly as you go along and grid off your areas. Here you can, you can see this target it's detecting. I wouldn't wanna step on that one. Nice solid beep. Now to pinpoint a target, it's best to back into it. Now that's, this is the transmitter and this is the receiver. So to pinpoint, you can hit your button a couple times and you can corner it off. Like you see here, go on all sides and in the middle is the pinpoint. This works a lot better than other methods I've found is, is backing into it and just going around it and centering it you can mark the center of the target, and now we can see this one, so I'm not gonna mark it. I can go off to the side, maybe 10 feet, hit the reset button, and then walk directly towards my pinpoint. When the beep comes on, from here to your pinpoint is how deep that target is in the ground. That's a triangulation. Works quite well. Varies a bit with target size, but for most practical purposes on this size target, it's very accurate. So the TM-808 is an all metal detector. That means it's gonna detect every kind of metal there is, iron, gold, silver, all types of metal. You really can't go into that six, 10 foot deep range and have any kind of uh, accurate discrimination. So you're, it's gonna detect all kinds of metals. So you want the research when you're treasure hunting to have you in an area where there's likely to be something worth digging. Uh, if you're just hunting randomly, you're gonna dig some scrap metal and uh, you know the old farm implements and just trash iron is, is gonna be uh, found with it because it's an all metal detector. A lot of people use the 808 for environmental use. Uh, finding 55 gallon drums at 16 feet, this thing it does very well. Uh, you can find septic tank lids if they've got steel in the concrete or if they're an older steel tank. Uh, this will find a septic tank quite easily. Um, lots of uses in the, in the uh, industrial field with pipes and, and uh, different types of valves that might be lost or misplaced. Anything that's of good size metal, the 808 can find it and it can find it deeper than any traditional metal detector can.